Welcome back and let's dive straight into the action because it is Armageddon time between Wesley So and Ali Reza Faruja. Let's ignite that chess fire. Wesley is now in a situation. He will start with 10 minutes on the clock. Ali, Faruja, Ali Reza only has 7 minutes, but Ali Reza does get those draw odds. And of course, defense uh, from Ali Reza, but it's the anti Berlin to all the pieces still on the board from Wesley. Good choice here, Judith. I have no idea. Is she G5 already at such an early stage? Is it a regular move nowadays? It's, uh, it's known, but it's rare, as you say. Uh, I think players have started getting get desperate and simply against the Berlin and Bishop G5 started appearing everywhere. We've seen it in the Italian game multiple times. Early Bishop G5 and uh, Ferruja may be influenced by having those draw odds retreating with Black's Bishop back to E7. The game for later because G5 will be very simple if Black wants to play it, but probably he will not want to play it, he just wants to go D6, maybe Knight H5 at some point because safety first and playing for a draw which gives a victory for Black, so probably that's the aim. Rock solid chess so far from Black, and the question is when Wesley will uh, try and open the center. He goes for it immediately, while the Black King is still stuck in the middle before Black's castled. Makes sense. I guess now the dilemma for Ferruja is whether he can castle or not. Can he get away with that? You don't really want to capture on d4. You'll always have small disadvantage. Uh, so okay, he actually backs up his knight on c6, blocks the pin. Solid, solid position. And White's bishop on h4 doesn't make a great impression, even if Black has lost the tempo with his dark square bishop. Yeah, it's kind of a very interesting uh, position. Because the bishop on h4 is usually is not there in this kind of position, right? The Steinitz or something, the bishop still on c1. Yeah. Doesn't really help unless you can put extra pressure on Black's central pawn from g3. Maybe that's one of the ideas from Wesley. I'm expecting first you have to do some calculation. Often White does threaten to take on c6 and then take on e5, so Farouche does clarify the center. And what will Wesley go for? Maybe he just wants to simplify everything and after knight e4, he also wants to exchange that. Four. Just as many pieces off the board as possible. You're a prophet, Judith. <laughs> everything flying off. Black square bishops as well, or keep those. No, oh, no. You exchange those. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, is this enough? to press black.
each side. Go start grabbing ports as well. And uh, look at the clock time as well. Wesley, also barely a time advantage over Ali Reza. And he grabs a seaborne and he looks up at the sky and just like, okay, he's in trouble. This is such a difficult position to win. Yeah, he was looking up for inspiration, looking up, maybe asking the chess gods to shine on him, to smile because A5 clamping down, nice move from Ferruja, under control for Black. This one looks like it should fizzle out towards a draw, one minute each now. Wesley, you can see he doesn't have the conviction behind his moves anymore. Black is better because taking on B2 and after rook A5, rook B3. And then if you move the knight, knight C4, discovered check, or rook C5, knight B1. He's going for something similar. Wow, he's forcing knights off the board. The black knight is poisoned because white's rook would fall to the black rook if it was captured on d1. Okay, Wesley doesn't have too much to do. He has to grab the a pawn and start playing as quickly as possible. But I mean, so this is wrong. mission impossible here to win this. The game is fast going into a draw, and there he grabs the a pawn. Simply knight takes knight. Uh, no, no way. No hope. Black's rook will go behind sooner or later. will go behind the white A-board, tying down white's rook. And the white king too far away to help. Yeah, Black's two versus one majority on the king side will soon start to be pushed as well. This one Wesley is elementary stuff. Time, but I think he's going to be a green draw. There is not much to play for. Jack, he goes out, even the bomb will be taken. So there is zero practical chance. that draw. There you go. Handshake and Ali Reza wins the Armageddon game and gets one and a half points and there with a shake of his head, disappointed Wesley leaves the board. Oh, these Armageddon games are exciting. They're keeping us on tenter.